So one of the things that the Democrats are doing at the DNC is they are really, really leaning in to the abortion stuff, knowing that it's a big winner for them, knowing that the right has shit the bed and jumped the shark on these issues. So here's an example of uh, one of the speakers. There was a whole bunch of speakers who were impacted by the Republican abortion policies, or should I say anti-abortion policies. And uh, here's a woman named Hadley Duvall. And um, her story is devastating. Listen to what she said here when talking about how Trump's policies and Republican policies impacted her life. Listen. Growing up, I was an all-American girl. Varsity soccer captain, cheerleading captain, homecoming queen, and survivor. I was raped by my stepfather after years of sexual abuse. At oh. age 12, I took my first pregnancy test. Oh. And it was positive. Oh. That was the first time I was ever told, you have options. I can't imagine not having a choice. But today, that's the reality for many women and girls across the country because of Donald Trump's abortion bans. He calls it a beautiful thing. What is so beautiful about a child having to carry her parents' child? The air just got sucked out of the room when she said that. God damn, bro. And look, I saw like Megyn Kelly was like, somebody needs to tell these people that Donald Trump is in favor of exceptions for abortion when it's rape and incest and life of the mother. And clearly this girl was raped by her stepfather. So Megyn Kelly's trying to be like, this isn't, no, this isn't because of Trump. Trump's actually against this. Megyn, you know that's a fucking stupid point. You know Donald Trump appointed the justices to the Supreme Court who overturned Roe versus Wade, which by the way is what he said he wanted to do, and that's exactly what he did do. They overturned Roe versus Wade. And then all these Republican states, these red states, cracked down on abortion. In fact, there are near total abortion bans in 14 different states. And in way more than that, they have pretty severe abortion bans that are not total abortion bans. And this is what happened. This is the impact of those policies. And you know that. And what would Donald Trump do if he gets back in office? Well, if we're lucky, he won't sign a national abortion ban. That's if we're lucky. He very well may do that. But best case scenario, he just leaves the status quo as it is. Well, what's the status quo? All the red states are cracking down massively on abortion, and you get horror stories like this. So you know he is to blame, and you're a fucking bullshitter. Now, let me show you this. Guys, this is the girl. No bullshit. This is the girl who very well may have won Andy Bashir, uh, the governorship in Kentucky, because this is the ad that um, Bashir ran against his opponent. What was his name? Something Cameron. Um, and this was just like nail in the coffin. Holy shit. Watch this. I was raped by my stepfather after years of sexual abuse. I was 12. Anyone who believes there should be no exceptions for rape and incest could never understand what it's like to stand in my shoes. This is to you, Daniel Cameron. To tell a 12 year old girl she must have the baby of her stepfather who raped her is unthinkable. I'm speaking out because women and girls need to have options. Daniel Cameron would give us none. Absolutely fucking brutal. It's hard hitting, it's factual, and it works. And it works. And the Republicans are sort of up shit's creek without a paddle here. Because not only are they way out of lockstep on the issue of abortion, they're also way out of lock lockstep on the issue of extremism. Because so many of the candidates still deny the 2020 election. Trump can't shut up about denying the 2020 election. Trump can't shut up with implying that he's not going to accept the results if he loses this next time. So, by all means, proceed. All right, guys. That's the show. I love you all very much. Long one today. Um, I will see you guys back here tomorrow. We got a whole bunch more stuff to talk about. Everybody enjoy the rest of your day. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.